find a boss, shall we? Um, let's speak to Lion Guard Riddick. Hello. Hey, old traveller. I am Lion Guard Riddick. I serve the Lion Guard under First, first Watch Sergio. I have the honour of protecting the gate to Lion's Arch. Is there something you'd like to talk about? I have some questions. I'm sure I can provide any information you need. What is this place? You're in North Kryta province. The Lion Guard patrols the road when it can, but the truth is that this area can still be rather hazardous. If it is civilization that you seek, you may enter through this gate. There is no greater city in all of Tyria than T Lion's Arch. Uh, do you need any assistance? I thank you, but I believe I can attend to my duties without assistance. I do not mean to sound arrogant, but once I had the honour of sparring with Galrath himself in the practice yard. Galrath is this guy that you have to kill in a really, really big long quest that gives you loads of experience, and uh, I might do it later, but currently I, mean, I don't plan to do it. Because uh, it doesn't like have much significance on the plot, really. Anyway, um, if it is employment you seek, then you should look for the white mantle. They claim their standards are, ex are exacting, and then they only accept the chosen into their organisation. But they always seem eager enough to find fresh bodies. He says that quite weird, doesn't he? Uh, where can I find them, then? The white mantle have a barracks just west of the city. They will pretend they chose the location for some holy significance, but just between us, first watch Sergio does not allow them into Lion's Arch proper. So Sergio's like the the leader of the Lion Guard then, I assume. And he doesn't let them into Lion's Arch. Only the Lion Guard may bear arms within the great city. Ah, so that's quite interesting. So uh, we did that quest earlier, the Hot Springs Murders. Oh my god, the Zimps attacking us. Go away. Come on, Charlie, help. Yeah, no, we did that quest, the Hot Springs Murders earlier, and you remember... Um, uh, the white mantle could have killed some of the lion guard which would make sense if there are odds over different things where did these things come from? oh my god they're going to kill me get away leave me alone attack charlie oh shit see just when you think you're safe you're really not so uh... tensions are rising there obviously Alright, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, I have some questions. There's one more thing that we want to ask. Um, where can I find them? Oh, no, no, that was all of it, wasn't it? Okay, alright. Oh, and you have a quest, don't you? Duties of a line guard. Let me ask you something. Do I look like someone with nothing better to do, to do than stand here all day, every day? I didn't think so. So why is it that you can tell that even though we hardly know each other, but that thoughtless Orin, after all the years we've been friends, thinks it's perfectly fine to go gallivanting about when he's supposed to be here, guarding the gate. I bet he's off trying to romance that Muraba again, even though it's clear she wants nothing to do with him. In fact, can you do me a favour and check? Her farm's just just a short ways northwest of here. Sure. So, uh, everyone's pretty much telling us to go see the White Mantle. And I want to check them out as well, because they seem pretty cool, and they've helped us a lot. Um, and you know, they are really the authority there, so we'll do that after this quest. Well, there's the, that guy, that was a very short walk, wasn't it? Oh, more imps. Bring it on. I'll pause it while I kill him. Alright, I died in the process, but I killed them. And I think these imps are charging us. Yeah, this is crazy. Are they going to turn around? Go away, go back across the bridge. Leave me alone. I don't want you to attack. There we go. Okay, they're leaving. All right. Uh, here's that. Wait. These aren't the people I wanted. Oh, there they are. Just in this small little farm. Uh, there's a collector here. Let's see what he's got to say. He looks like an Ascalonian. Cane, bone star. Oh, a battle axe of fortitude. What's? I think that's worse than our current one. Yes, it is. No, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Maraba, so you're looking for Orin. I hope he ha I hope he doesn't owe you any money. The sun hasn't risen on the day when Orin couldn't weasel out of a debt or a duty. Well, he's bound to come slinking back here as soon as he has a new story about how he's re about his how he's reformed and going to be something special someday. Sad thing is he could be if he put his mind to it. 
Well, here's what I'll do. As a favour to you and everyone else he owes, I'll tell him a mighty warrior came looking for him, stirring up trouble about his debt, and that I was terribly frightened for him, and so on and so forth. That should get him on the straight and narrow for a few hours, a few hours at least. Okay, so is that what you can help? Perhaps you can do a favour for me. Recent days, there's been bandits raiding, raiding this area, bold as brass. I don't trust the Lion Guard to deal with this problem, not when louts like Riddick and Orin are the best they have to offer. No, I'd feel safe in knowing that the White Mantle was aware of the problem. Would you be willing to go to the Mantle bra Barracks at the D'Alessio Seaboard and talk to the White Mantle Knight, blah blah blah. Surely he can do something. I'll tell him of your problem. Okay, that's easy enough. That's the same place that the primary quest has taken us, so... Uh, we should probably get on and do that now. Now, these two people here uh, that we saw earlier, you'll notice if you look at them, they actually look very different to anyone we've ever seen before. There's that guy who looks a bit like a zombie, and this woman. And he, they're both from a very, very, very distant land called Cantha, which is where the second game takes the second campaign takes place and uh, when that campaign was first released um, to celebrate the release sort of the uh, arena net released these two places out here in the North Kryta province and there were two sort of mini areas you could go to uh, and after the game was released they removed all of that stuff except for these two characters and there were some quests you could do that were like uh, a love story it was kind of kind of a play on Romeo and Juliet and uh, basically these guys are from different warring factions. He's called a Luxon and she's called a Kurzik. And uh, they used to fight each other all the time, but they fell in love despite it all. And when all of their families left to go back to Cantha when the second game was released, these two stayed behind. So we'll just talk to them. Dalos says, My father is a fool, spilling this war onto foreign lands. These, the Crichtons have tossed my fellow Luxons from these lands and forced them back to the Jade Sea. I will remain behind with my dear Mika. I want no more I want no more part in this conflict. She says, My entire life I've been taught to hate the Luxons, but my love for Dalos has opened my eyes. Luxons are no different from, than us. This senseless bloodshed must stop. Um and once I've completed this game, like I said back in pre Seer, and if these videos are if I'm still motivated to do them, uh I'll be doing the other campaigns. And we'll learn a lot more about that. Factions has probably got the most interesting areas actually out of all of the campaigns so um, very creative areas very cool uh, very nice story going on there but uh, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that shall we anyway for now um, let's continue with the main plot shall we hopefully we'll find a boss or two around and we can use our new signet of capture and get some cool skills hopefully even an elite skill that'd be sweet wouldn't it uh, Here's the entrance to Lion's Arch, so let's go along this road here. Okay, it looks like the imps might kill me. But I really hope they don't. Please go away. Oh my god, there's so many. One health! I've got one health left. Aha! Yes, survived. Okay, uh lots of white mantle flags here as you can see guess this is their barracks just outside of Lion's Arch if you look at the map it's not actually that far away at all really um, let's go in this is the next mission it's called the D'Alessio Seaboard talk to Mantle Knight Carrier uh, once called the Eastbury Reserve, this stretch of coastal land was renamed after the last Guild War. Its namesake, Saul D'Alessio, was the founder of the White Mantle and is thought by many to be the saviour of Kryta. We still haven't met that Saul guy. I hope we do. So if first watch Sergio is like their leader, then Saul must be there, the uh, White Mantles. Oh, and look at that guys, we've almost levelled up. We probably will when we accept this quest. Hello, what's going on here? There's a merchant, Crichton Herald, lots of henchmen, Mantle Knight Carrier. What's going on? Justicular Torimo? Sorry, Justiciar? I think that's, how, that's it. I, I 
spent so many years reading it as <laughs> with like an L there. Um, it's hard to <laughs> suddenly start talking about it and say, right. It is the will of the unseen, no doubt, that brings you here, for we are greatly troubled by the rising tide of undead that has beset the countryside. We need a message sent to the confessor in the temple to the west, so that we may consider how best to protect these lands. You have witnessed for yourself these undead abominations. I would like you to travel to the Temple of Tor Tolerance and tell Confessor Dorian all that you have done and seen. If you are ready to undertake this task, enter the mission. Okay. Yay! Also, let's talk to him about that other person. Bandit trouble about the bandits. I had heard that there was some trouble in North Karaita province, but I am much aggrieved to hear how, it, how ineffective the Lion Guard is at protecting our people. Here we are, the White Mantle taking on the greatest of crises facing our lands, the Walking Dead, and the, and the vaunted Lion Guard cannot deal with a few brigands. I will send a few men to inquire into this matter, and in the meantime give, this, give you this token of Janthir to the peasant you mentioned. While she bears it, the Unseen Ones will pay her special attention. Okay, uh, let's spend our points first before we go do anything. Axe Mastery. I'm loving Axe Mastery. Got to keep putting up. Oh, so we've got to go speak to that woman again, do we? He's given us a token. A token of Janthea. Hmm. White Mantle Savants. Oh, look at this. These are the undead. And they're trying to get in. Oh, but the White Mantle are... Spill the blood of our foes. These guys are badass. They're just one hit shot in them all out. Very cool. So this, got, this place is... Beset by the undead, I guess. See, and they're still quite mysterious. I wonder who that lich guy was that we saw and all that. Uh, I'll stop putting it off for now. I'm going to pause it, uh, show you me at that woman getting the quest reward, and then coming back here, and then we'll start the mission. So see you in a sec.